Now, in terms of internship, you know, what is that you can expect from the firm? Uh, work exposure, because it's very unique kind of a, a system where you will get to handle any file and uh, do the uh, back office preparation to begin with. And maybe later as you, uh, you gain confidence and the firm gets confidence on your ability to handle, you will get to meet even uh, the client directly or the corporate executives who represent the entity. And uh, whatever you learn, try to apply it in practice. When I was staying in a hostel, I was uh, preparing for the exam and uh, my room partner fell sick. So I wanted to buy medicine for him. So I went to the medical shop opposite to the hostel and as I was buying the medicine, the shopkeeper asked me, what, what do you do? I said, I am doing CA. It was uh, end of March. So he spontaneously asked me, oh CA, then you must know the answer. So he asked me, uh, on what basis do we take the closing stock valuation? Do we do the closing stock valuation? My mind was blank because I prepared for answering in the examination, not for answering a medical shop and a pharmacist. Then it occurred to me, whatever you learn, you have to apply it in real life situation. See, if you walk in this platform outside this building, and if you find a cobbler, he will not straight away look at your face. If he will first look at your shoe or chapel, if you are a potential customer, then he will look at your face. If it is already neatly polished, he will ignore you because you cannot be converted into a work assignment, isn't it? So, anything that you do, you can replicate and see how it is applicable in practical situation. That kind of a learning, that will be nice. Me and my friend who is a criminal advocate, so uh, we both went to see a movie. And uh, before the intermission, there is a murder of that uh, character, hero. Uh, if hero gets murdered, what will happen? Of course, the dual role, so the second hero comes. <laughs> so that's how it happens. And uh, second off, I was engrossed with the movie. Suddenly, I turned. This man was deep in his thoughts. And I asked him, what is, you know, in case this case comes to trial court, what are the evidences for and against? He was thinking about that. You know, like that, you know, as a budding professional, whatever you pick up and you get the opportunity to apply it in your day-to-day -day situation, so you can, with the guidance of the seniors and after discussion with the peers, you should be able to apply what you learn in uh, theory into practice. And you know, you will get an excellent opportunity to interact with the senior management. When you work with a team, you should be able to uh, express your viewpoint also. You should be able to listen to the other viewpoint, express your agreement. Exceptionally, you may have to express your disagreement. And then either you get convinced or you are in a position to convince. This won't happen in the initial stages as you mature yourself into a budding professional, you will be able to do it. There is a saying in management philosophy, if two people work together and both of them always agree, one of them is useless. If both of them always disagree, both are useless. In other words, you know, you should be able to give your best cooperation and support, exceptionally you find that you have a strong uh, different point of view, you should be also be able to convey. And uh, wherever there is genuine bona fide disagreement, you should be able to agree to disagree and proceed. Because ultimately what matters is the delivery of the assignment or the work that is assigned. So you can mold your personality on a holistic basis. And that is possible only during this internship. In fact, in India, the greatest advantage we have is in any professional field you take, the hands-on experience of the professionals is phenomenal, immense. Whereas in developed nations, like even in US or Australia, anywhere, if, if you take the case of medical profession, for example, 
A doctor hardly sees too many patients for each ailment. Very rarely they come across. That's why a doctor who migrates from here, as who has seen hundreds of patients, even as he is in the internship, is able to diagnose much faster and much better and much clearer because he has seen so many such cases uh, in every hospital. So that's how our exposure will stand us in good stead. Now, as far as hard skills are concerned, there are 10 areas where you can certainly get immensely benefited uh, if you can get the chance. You know, for example, if, even on corporate audit, uh, where you may have to apply uh, many standards, auditing standard, auditing and assurance standards as well as accounting standards. Even if you do one uh, company or one listed company, uh, if you can do it, you know, you will get exposure on application of all these things and guidance notes of the ICI. Similarly, you should be able to prepare uh, yourself the financial statements and prepare ratios and how uh, things have changed from last year to this year. All those things will help you. Then tax returns, prepare, preparing from A to Z, how to collate details and uh, file them. Then uh, corporate audits, then system study. So all these things, even if you do in selective few uh, occasions and cases, Actually, the uh, experience I have got uh, when I was a CA student undergoing training was the greatest reward for doing some work properly is to be allotted with more work. The reward is it comes in the form of being getting allotted more and more work. And if you are available and you have the inclination, works, variety of works will automatically follow. So therefore, you should make use of all those opportunities and uh, get benefited. Uh, in fact, some students ask me, so which area should I specialize? In my perception, this is too early for you to decide in which area you should specialize. I would recommend that you should get a feel of every possible area and do something or the other and get practical exposure on all the divisions, all the aspects, if possible, and then decide on what suits you, where your heart lies, where your passion drives you to specialize. Even if you do articleship in a big four and you have done only one uh, you know, segment of training, after qualifying, get an exposure on the other side if possible and then come to a conclusion which one matches with your passion. So that will be much better. This is another segment where some of uh, the students are indifferent. I mean, they are not keen on learning this. But if you assist partners or audit managers in preparing or uh, drafting certain deeds and documents, don't take it for granted that it is only cut and paste. Preparing a memorandum under articles of association or a partnership deed or a gift deed or a settlement deed or writing a will. I have written uh, many wills for the clients. How I developed that skill? Only by assisting my senior who used to prepare wills for his clients. So that's how if you do it, uh, you know, automatically you will find uh, that you have the ability to differentiate case to case and how to incorporate appropriately to meet with the expectations of the clients. Uh, like, uh, suppose a client comes to you and says, I want to form a charitable trust. So, please do all the requirements. Uh, if you had done it in your office, then you take off straight away. You know how to get a trust deed drafted get it approved and then register it with the registrar's office and also you know get it uh, recognized under section 12a of the income tax act get atg recognition all those formalities you will be proficient and you will and you can even recommend advise the client whether 12a is better or 1023c is better all those things you will have that expertise if you have done it even in one case similarly valuation representation before assessing offices, all those things will stand you in good stead. Your presence and representation may not be recognized officially because you are not a qualified person, but you are assisting somebody who is representing that itself will give you tremendous exposure. And beyond a level, I had an experience where to the per other person sitting on the other side, it doesn't matter who says what. Uh, I mean, the person saying it may not really matter. So long as you convey sense, you convey to the point and it helps to conclude the hearing. 
conclude the case, they will be too happy to pick up your thoughts also. That also I have experienced because uh, if you go well prepared, do the homework, many instances my senior under whom I did articleship uh, because of his age, I did articleship under a chartered accountant when his age was 80 to 83. That was the age period when I was doing articleship with him and he used to fall sick often and he used to send me with a file to take adjournment and come. And I used to read, prepare and go. If the officer says, no, no, why give adjournment, it's already uh, getting time but so if you know the case, we'll finish it. I used to sit because I have gone there prepared for the facts and once I give, you will complete the case and when assessment order came, the senior used to be surprised. He expected me only to take adjournment, I could even complete the case. And that's how your potential has to be demonstrated by proactive measures. And of course, technology, I need not tell you, you can become proficient 